looks amazing. Oh, and there's my cat. Welcome in, welcome in my Harry Potter collecting friends. Today we are going to be opening another wizarding trunk box. I do not believe I know which one this is. I think it might be the theme of those we love to hate. So our favorite people we like to hate at Hogwarts. So let's just hop into it right now. All right, now that we got the packaging off, I do believe that this might actually be a a ministry theme and not the lo the ones we love to hate. But let's open it and we'll find out. Okay, so it is definitely a ministry theme. We got a ministry theme going on here. Not sure if you can see it very well, but we'll uh, we'll just hop right into it. And let's just take out the first item here. Here we go. Okay, not sure what this first item is. It looks like it might be a wand holder. Like, it's like a sheath, but for a wand. Let's open it up, let's find out. Okay, so I definitely think this is a wand holder. A sheath for your wand. Let's check it out, let's see here. Okay, that does look like what it is. And we just, you can put it on maybe like a backpack or your belt buckle. I don't know, but it looks really cool. I don't think it's real leather. It doesn't smell like real leather, but it is really cool. I do like it. It's definitely interesting. I wasn't expecting anything like that. So that is a good start to the box. I'm pretty excited. Let's check out the rest of the stuff. All right, so our next item here is a little box. Let's open it up, let's check it out. Let's see. All right, so it looks like we got another key. Again, the wizarding trunk does a lot of different keys, like wizarding keys for different things at the Hogwarts school grounds, different doors. This one looks amazing. Oh, and there's my cat. So we got right here, She's stealing the show. Snow, watch out. All right, so this is a really cool looking key. It is the Ministry of Magic key. Okay, so it's the Ministry of Magic key and a tail. If you can't see it very well, I will take a picture of it without my cat in the way. All right, but she seems to like it and it is real metal. It's really nice, it's nice and sturdy. This is probably my favorite key. It's got a lot of red in it. I really like that. All right, moving into the next item here. We've got a big white box. It does look like it's been a little damaged. <laughs> Hopefully whatever is inside isn't too bad. Oh, oh, okay. We have the telephone booth that they go into the Ministry of Magic with. This is the the visitor's way of getting into the Ministry of Magic. It looks like it's a little piggy bank. It's got a little coin slot on top and then the little rubber in the bottom that you can take out once you've collected all your galleons in there. Okay, that's pretty cool. I like that. That's a, a nice little display piece. I like that. It's something that can be displayed well and it doesn't scream Harry Potter either. So you don't have to be, you know, if you're ashamed of your collection, you don't have to be ashamed of displaying this. But if you are ashamed, you should, you should change that. All right, moving along. What do we got in here? All right, we got our first potion, our first potion of the box. Ooh. Oh, I don't know what this is, but I like it. Oh, this is truth serum. Okay. This is what they used on, not Cho, but Cho's friend in the book. In the movie, they used Cho. I don't know why, but in the book, it is actually her friend who is the one that tells about the, the room of requirements. This is really nice. It's got a, like a nice little silver, silvery, like, smokish look to it. Very simple, nice little, nice little truth serum. I like 
that. That's good stuff. All right, that's that's nice. That's a nice potion right there. We have a really big box right here, but I'm not sure if I want to open it yet. I think we're gonna wait until the end for this one. Oh, okay. So this is the, here, let's pull it out of the, it's a coin, but let's pull it out of this little baggie. This is, oh, what is this from? Issue to senior ministry officials. Okay, so I'm not 100% sure what it is. It's a coin of sorts, uh, and it's for official members of the ministry, but it has a little uh, fireplace on it with the, the flume so they can travel to the ministry. And then on the back it has F a or sorry nfa on the back not sure what that stands for i'm gonna have to look that one up but that's really cool it's a nice little coin it looks really nice i like it that's, that's nice all right this is just funny this is too funny i like this so what we got here is our official badge Magic Law and Department Head. So we're the head of the Magic Law. So that's a, oh my goodness, what is that supposed to be? What is it? The police, the police of the wizards. What are they called? I cannot think of it. I am so embarrassed right now. If you remember, let me know in the comments. I know it's what Harry was going to go into for uh, after he graduated out of school. That was the career path he was looking into. And I cannot think of it. And I'm really, really bummed about that. But it is a giant, it's a giant pin. So you can either leave it in here and put it on a belt or shirt or whatever if you're gonna display it. Or you could also put it, honestly, anywhere that you can put a pin. Very official, and it's got the dragon on it. It looks like the dragon from uh, underneath the Gringotts bank, but I don't think it is. But that's really cool. That's a nice sturdy item. All these items are really, really like good quality. That's what I like about the wizarding trunk. It's not just cheap stuff, and it's really thought out. We're getting to the end here. Let's uh, let's move on to the book cover. So it seems that they're going to be putting book covers in everything. I thought it was just a few, but I do like that. Let's pull out this book cover here. Give me one sec. Oh, oh my goodness. What book would this fit on? This is going to be for, I don't know what this is going to be for, what book, maybe, I don't know, I'll have to find a book that fits this. This is really nice. This is the Unspeakable Guide to Magical Mysteries. It's got a lot of gold foiling, it looks really nice, it accents the color very well. I know it's going to be really hard to see because the light is shining on it, but look at all that shininess, beautiful. I love it. Okay, that's cool. That's a good one. All right, we got our wizarding trunk pin. Always get pins or no boxes. And again, this is only my third box and my third unboxing. So I'm still new to unboxing. Not the greatest at it yet. I do apologize. But this is the veil when Sirius Black dies and goes into the veil in the bottom of the ministry. This is really cool. It has, it's like the little the veil statue, but it also has a picture of Sirius Black in it, which is kinda, kinda sad, because we all love Sirius. And now we got a blue box, or like a purplish blue box. Let's check this out. <gasps> Ooh! This is cool. Okay, give me a sec. All right, 
It's a, a stamp. It's a stamper for like a notary set. That's really cool. I'm gonna be honest, I think, is this the is this wax? Yeah, I think this is the wax that you would like melt down and then put it in and then stamp it. I think that, I'm gonna be honest, I've never used a stamp like this. No, this is a candle. Oh my gosh, I'm so, ignore me. This is definitely a stamp though. This, on the other hand, is a candle. <laughs> is that to make the wax? I don't know. Correct me in the comments. I can't know everything. Okay. That's very cool though. I like it. It matches. It's purple. Looks really good. And now we're back to this big box. Let's check out the big box. It's fairly light. So I'm not sure what it could be. And again, I haven't checked out any, any other unboxings or anything of these because I like to be surprised just like everybody else. Okay, so we got it out of the box. The box is really nice. It's just got the Ministry of Magic logo on it, but it looks good. And here we go. <gasps> it's a statue of... Okay. I'm kind of not sure how this relates to this theme. It looks like we have Dobby. I don't know if that is Dumbledore or Dumbledore's brother or just a wizard. And then we got a goblin. And I don't know what this is for. It's really nice. It's, it's good quality. It's not super heavy. It's not as thick as the other little statue that we got. But it, it's nice. I do like it. I just don't understand what it is. But it looks nice. I like it. Just a little, little confused on what it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in the last unboxing, I did forget to show you guys some, uh, some things that were still in the box. I forgot. I forgot that they always add some paper items as well. And they're really, they always are really high quality. I just totally forgot to, to show you in the last one. And I do apologize about that. But this one is a Ministry of Magic folder. Uh, and this is to make sure, this is Magical Documentation Commission. So it looks like this is to make sure that we are actually pure bloods instead of half bloods because you know how the ministry is they do not like us to be half bloods in the last book because of Voldemort's reign and corrupting the, the ministry of magic and then this is our wand registration so we have to register our wand so they can always keep track of us not a big fan of that. And then our inter, <clears throat> then we got here our interdepartmental memo. This is just a to-do list, priorities, notes, alos to send. This is just to keep us in order. It's actually really nice. And this, you know, you could use this for shopping lists, hunting to-do list in real life, notes for your day, how your day went, what to order off of Amazon, owls to send, all the good stuff. This, this is actually really handy. I like it. Then we got here our travel. We have to let uh, the ministry know when we're traveling. Not a big fan of that. Hey, sorry, my cat is uh, shaking my camera. But so if we want to travel, we have to let them know. And then here is our magical identification card. So if we are Magical, we have to let them know. And this is really cool. That's really detailed. That's what I like about these paper items. And I, I regret not showing you guys in the last box. I do apologize for that, but I'll make sure to add those going on forward. And I, I just, that was everything in the box. And I, I'm just really happy with these boxes. The items are really high quality. 
they're they're fun they're creative uh, it just it's it's really cool uh, I'm glad I subscribed to these again I am not sponsored by them at all I've never talked to them I pay my own money for these boxes I've seen other people unbox older ones and I was really intrigued so this is why I do it this is probably though my least favorite item just because I don't understand how it relates to the Ministry of Magic theme that we're going on here this one is a really cool item, the stamp, this potion is really amazing. It's just super simple and I like that. Simplicity is bliss sometimes. This, our little piggy bank here is actually really nice because I have loose change everywhere. I really like this item, it's fun. Book covers are always amazing. I just need to find a book to put it on. <laughs> the coin is really cool, I like the coin, I don't know what it is. But I like it and it's heavy and it's just it's a nice little display piece which I do plan on getting some items displayed back here I just need to get some floating shelves but that is coming in the future the keys the keys are always nice the keys are really nice I just once I get a place to store them I'll be a little bit happier to like display them the badge the badge is a little big and bulky but it's really high quality. Like it's it's metal, it's probably aluminum, but it's really nice. It's got a lot of detail. It would go great for your cosplays. And I think this is probably one of my favorite items. It's really simple, but it's super creative. It's the little wand holder, it's like the sheath for your wand, which really makes sense. Going with the badge, it's great. That's perfect, love it. That's, that's probably my favorite because it's super creative. And then, of course, Sirius Black in the veil. R.I.P. And with that, I will see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for being here. Leave a comment. I'm going to be doing more content again now that the new year is here. And I'm going to be streaming Hogwarts Legacy. So if you're excited, let me know in the comments. And I might actually be doing a giveaway for Hogwarts Legacy. So we'll see you soon. Have a good one, everybody. Thank you for being here.